Hey everyone, my name is Anel and welcome to my channel's first video! Yay! <laughs> I know that the first videos are always going to be the most awkward ones, so please bear with me and here's to learning and improving in the future. So anyway, in this video, I will be sharing with you 5 apps that have been helping me keep sane during this crazy time. And if you're with me and you've been feeling anxious, helpless, and worried, then I think these apps could help you too. So let's get into it. The first app is called One Touch. A great way to start your day is in prayer. Aside from the daily gospel and daily reflections that you can read, you can also click on feelings, which shows a variety of feelings that you may be feeling such as compassion, defeat, emptiness, friend zone, lol, <laughs> happiness, love, and letting go. And if you click on it, let's say anxiety, it will lead you to different Bible verses that can calm you regarding this. So there, it's like having an instant word of God for something specific that you're feeling. Another cool feature of this app is called Our Prayers. So here you write your prayer petition and everyone else using the app could pray for you. So let's try something like, Dear Lord, my intentions, 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 Anel. And you click submit and then it goes to this feed wherein you could also browse and pray for other people. So. In your prayer time, you could include all these other petitions written by other people. I like that it gives you this sense of community that you're not alone in whatever you're going through and somewhere out there anonymously is going to pray for you. Yeah. One of my favorite app discoveries during quarantine is called Yummy. So this is for everyone who's been trying to cook in the kitchen these days. I like that it's so customizable, like you could put what your allergies are, I put dairy free. And your diet, so you could be keto, vegetarian, low carb, high carb, whatever you want. And you could also put ingredients that you don't like, so let's say onions. Onions, and wow, so many types of onions. So let's click the regular one now. And they will never suggest recipes with onions in it. So yeah, what I like about this app also is you could input whatever's in your kitchen. So let's say, um, Tuna, like T U N A, there. <laughs> so tuna and wow, that means class and tuna. Let's click canned tuna so that it's what's common in everyone's kitchen. So tuna, and it will give you a list of different tuna recipes that's not a pancake. And you could also choose the time limit that you have to prepare it. 20 minutes, 30 minutes, no restrictions, and here are all your tuna recipes. Scroll, scroll. Okay, so let's try something else like egg or eggs. <laughs> and it will also give you an option if you want it with vegetables or not. So I click yes because I like vegetables. And here are some recipes that are not boiled eggs, scrambled eggs. Are easy to make and something new, deba. Right? So you can serve something different. So let's click vegetable patties, and it's going to show you all the ingredients that you need, the nutrition. But this one has no reviews. Or related dishes to it. So yeah, that's Yumly for your yummy cooking, lol. Another app that I have been loving is called Audible, which is for audiobooks. And right now, I'm reading uh, slash listening to Grit, which is the power of passion and perseverance for your goals. Go girl! <laughs> and I recently just finished The Happiness Project. So what I like to do is to listen to these books while I'm doing robotic chores such as sweeping the floor, washing the dishes, or giving my dogs a bath so that I'm doing two things at once. I'm learning and doing a chore. Yes! So I love this app. It's really helpful and really insightful next so this is my favorite app shine it's a daily meditation app which really has this millennial quote-unquote feel to it i like the interface and every morning i wake up to a daily shine which is a daily motivational message for you to keep you grounded it always enter the mantra to set your day it also has this calm for covid pack which is very specific for this time we have 
this readings i mean listenings for health workers choosing who you become refocusing your day anything to keep you centered and grounded during this uncertain time they got you and it's really easy to listen to it's just eight minutes long or six to eight minutes depending on what you listen to they also have different packs for what you're feeling resilience challenges a lot for anxiety and stress and they also have meditations for whatever <laughs> like owning your needs and those kind of stuff what i also like is that it has a community so you can write it down whatever the answer to the question for the day is read people's answers discuss with them and you can further discuss on facebook because there's a group there another thing i like is the sleep caps i mean the night caps so these nightcaps are sleepier tellings of your favorite movies. So we have Space Pajamas, Space Jams. And that's it for Shine. Next. Lastly, we have Sanity and Self. This is my most recent self-care app and I'm on free trial now for 7 days. And so far, I'm really liking the millennial vibe again. And this one has a wider range of topics of, for discussion. So here we have things for heartbreak, loving yourself more, crushing work stress, and here under the popular one is eat without guilt, set boundaries, trauma and trust. So basically anything you're dealing with or need help with, they have it. What I also like is that this app has the option of having a one-on-one -on -one chat with an expert. So let's say you want to talk to your friends about it, your parents, or you don't want to see a therapist. I guess one of these experts from the app can help you deal with whatever. So they have a wide range of topics, but let's click something more relatable like the dreams and goals. Like, I'm not where I thought I'd be by now. <laughs> so they have questions, but sadly this feature is not free. So on top of the monthly fee you have to pay another monthly fee to talk to an expert so i haven't tried this so if you guys have let me know if it's any good so there this app also has like real stories so you could read from other people using the app like the community answers to questions from the community and a loving yourself area so this app is really community based and you can get a lot of support from people you don't know <laughs> which is pretty cool i guess if you're looking for that kind of community if you've made it to the end of this video thank you so so much and if you like this kind of content please like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye